welcome to another exclusive developer video of Game Launcher Creator V3. So I'm really excited to show you this because I've just finished working on the code for this aspect today. So uh, basically, um, if you've read on the pre-order page, you will notice that um, GLC V3 comes with a very powerful system that I've coded in, and it's an event system. So basically, you can specify certain events or certain things that happen, a series of actions um, that should happen for that given event. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate you just a very basic example in this one. Now, in this video, now bearing in mind that the actions that are available, you can make this as complex as you want. Um, the gamer edition is limited to one action um, for um, each event, uh, but Indian developer edition are unlimited uh, actions. And I'm going to show you how you can do something like a custom download page. Uh, so basically in this launcher, this test launcher here, I just have the one page, which is this one. Um, so I can drop in a button that says download now. We've got a progress bar here, um, as a text string, which is a dynamic text string, uh, and just a test button. This one doesn't, it's not really going to do anything. I'm just using it as an example. But this is the main download button here. In fact, I'll tell you what, just to less complicate things, let's delete this image button, we don't need it. So what we're doing effectively here is we're creating our own download page. Um, so we can we can tell the launcher to um, download a specific file, um, like an installer or something like that. And then we can display a progress bar and some text as well. So I'm just going to show you how I'll set this up real quick and you can see how easy it is. So I've dropped in a text button. If I go to the properties of this text button and go down to actions, you'll see that I have two actions. So basically when the user clicks on that text button, these two actions are going to happen. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to fire off the download object. So if we just quickly look at the properties for the download object, um, you'll notice that I've dropped in the URL to download, which is just a test installer i think it's about 65 meg 69 meg something like that and then we've got additional options here such as exit after download wait for end exit if error and we're after download i'm not going to show you what they do today they're pretty self-explanatory but you'll notice this here this is progress bar id so we're literally telling download objects which progress bar is going to be linked to this download um, and the way we get the name of the progress bar is once we've dropped it in you can just select it in the editor and you can see the internal name up here to which you can copy that and then you can paste it into there just so that the launcher knows which progress bar you want to show the progress of that download to. Uh, and then the second thing we do is we're going to show actions, uh, objects, sorry. Um, so then we're just specifying here which objects we want to show. Um, so we've got rid of the image button now, but we'll drop in the progress bar. So basically now when the user clicks on this download now button it's going to start the download and it's going to show these objects which is that text string and the progress bar now by default they're shown anyway uh, but we want them to be hidden until the user clicks download now so when we select the object inside the glc v3 editor you'll notice that there's a hide at start property here um, so by default these are off so that the objects are always showing uh, but what we'll do for this example is we will turn them off at the start so they won't be showing at the start and they're only going to show when the user clicks on download now so i'm going to show you really fast how this works so we'll just build this test launcher and that's done and then we go to it and run it and then you'll see when I click the download now button, the progress bar will appear, the string will appear, and you'll also see how that string works as well. So here we go, press download now, and you can see the progress bar is the progress of the download, and then we have this dynamic string here. Now, one thing you are going to like, just ignore that two repeated thing there. One thing I know that you're going to like is that that string is actually dynamic, so you can set the text yourself. So if we go to the content, you can see the content here and I've specified it myself. So I can literally type in downloading and then I can use this variable, which is download URL. And then in brackets, I've put the variable for the download speed in megabits per second. In fact, we don't need that on there. Um, and then we have um, a da the download percentage. So that when we run, if we just look at that string there, so we have, what do we have there? We've got the download URL, the download speed in megabits, and then the download percentage. 
So you can see that when we run the launcher, uh, that's the string that's constantly being polished. So that's part of the new engine that I've developed as well, which is dynamic strings that are constantly being polished. So you can use variables throughout your launcher wherever you want obviously that's not changed because i've not rebuilt the launcher um but yeah that's just a very quick example of what you can do uh with the new powerful event system and action system inside game launcher creator v3 um so if we just i'll just repay this a little visit again so if you if you click the actions for this button you'll see that you have an abundance of actions already built in um, some of these are plugins like the Minecraft one and stuff like that um, and a lot of them are built in some of them are developer only some of them are Indian developer but we'll, we'll cover all that when we get there when we get round to it uh, but you can do all all the classic legacy actions plus a lot more so you can open URL so you could just specify what website to go to uh, launch a local file in fact to open URL you can also specify some parameters uh, in the developer version as well which is really nifty um, you can change the page, uh, minimise launcher, mute the music, exit the launcher, you can fire off the download object, you can volume up on the global music, volume down, um, you can launch Minecraft 5M, you can launch into the patching system, you can refresh a get query and you can show and hide objects. Obviously this is not the final list, there's going to be still going to be uh, a few actions uh, that we're going to put um, into this, um, but that and then that's basically how it works. So you, so each object so like the buttons can now have um, a series of actions that execute uh, very 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 powerful system that is just literally a very basic example just to show you because I was really excited to just get something out tonight just to show you how this works but yeah you can do basically any scenario in your head that you can think of that you'd want to do event wise is more than likely going to be possible in v3 so for example you can specify when the download finishes you could change the launcher page and send the user somewhere else you know so you could send them to a page that says your download is now finished blah 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 or, or do whatever whatever actions are available you'll be able to do with the new system in glc v3